All right. <clears throat> so earlier on, I had a uh, a stream with talking about IFCL, IFSCL version 3.5.0, and we discovered a lot of stuff that occurred during that stream. And I decided uh, I'm gonna make a more official video for this one. And this is going to be discussing the major changes coming into this version because there's a lot, but I mean a lot of stuff in this version. This is a big release. Um, and yeah, and it also includes a puzzle for you to solve. How do you create a sector after it was destroyed? This was something that took us about an hour to solve or so. It was really fun. Maybe even an hour and a half. I don't even remember. But... Anyway, so... I'm gonna mute the sound here, turn it down drastically so I can actually hear. So, actually, you know what? Oops, wrong. Video. There we go, that's better. Okay, so let's actually go through the changes. So, first off, um, this is all the same. The only thing that's different here is now you can start with either the connection enabled to both Lyoko and Carthage at the same time. Uh, everything else is the same. Uh, this is actually new, so the Virtual World of Lyoko is created on Game Start, and we'll get into that later, but you want to leave this on, because otherwise you would have to create all the sectors and it would take a very long time. But you can now start with Lyoko not even created in the supercomputer. Uh, these are all the same, don't worry about that. Okay, so the new thing in here, there's two new uh, things that Xana can do. The first one is he can use a Xanified Skiffazoa. So now Xana, so now he's Xana is able to take over Lyoko Warriors, and what happens is is a couple of things. So what he will do is he will attack um, friendly Lyoko Warriors if they're Xanified, or they will attempt to. Attack Aelita, I think. I don't remember. Um, so if it's Aelita, Aelita will try to destroy the sector. Um, and this is the probability that Xana will try to actually destroy the sector with Aelita. So if this is at zero, she won't do it at all. Um, so yes, Xana can now destroy sectors with a code with with code Xana with Aelita. Um, if a Xanified Lyoko warrior jumps into the digital sea, which they can do either intentionally or unintentionally, they are dead. Um, if Aelita is, if Aelita falls into the digital sea when she's Xanified, the game is over. This is equivalent to Aelita dying. Um, uh, so yeah, so that, that is a game over condition. Um, also what was changed from a game over condition is now, um, if the core of Lyoko is destroyed, it is no longer a game over. It is now a optional game over uh, because now you have the ability to rebuild Carthage, but it will say, hey, the, the core of Lyoko was destroyed. Do you want to create all of Lyoko again or do you just want to start over? Um, so, yeah. And then for team configurations, so the biggest, the biggest ones here is the fact that William is now in the game. So as of right now, William only has his Xanified... Um, costume and you can have three settings for him you can have him either disabled entirely you can have him on your squad or you can have him be xanified william which he actually has an interesting ai where he'll actually pick up aelita and try to throw her into the digital sea to get franz hopper to appear um and all that kind of stuff so we'll leave william on uh just to kind of show off what he can do uh the rest of these guys don't have any options right right now uh, but basically, it's going to be, hey, do you have them unlocked or do you not have them unlocked? And same with Aelita, you can either have her on Lyoko like in Season 1 um, or on Earth like in Season 2 and upward. And the other these ones, and all these are the same, so here's the, the Code Earths and stuff like that. So let's actually look at um, the game and look at some of the new stuff, what's going on here. All right, so the main new thing that was introduced into this version is the build command. So this virtual builder right now allows you to, uh, this virtual builder right now 
only allows you to build sectors. Um, I think it also allows you to do something with vehicles and the Marabunta, but those aren't implemented yet. I know the Marabunta isn't implemented yet, but that will also require the use of the builder, I think. Um, in any case, so this will actually allow you to recreate sectors of Lyoko when they're lost. Or if you don't start with Lyoko on startup, then you will have to um, rebuild Lyoko from scratch. And you can actually have, I think, four jobs built uh, building at the same time, because there's like four tabs here. I don't know for sure, but... Anyway. So if we go to the C-Map phone locator, you will see that we do indeed have William in our squad now, and we can call him up. Now, obviously, if he was permanently Xanified, uh, he would be summoned randomly by Xana, and he would come in and try to attack Aelita in the squad. He has, I think, the highest HP uh, in the game. Uh, what was also added was the Black Manta. So the Black Manta can be summoned either by permanently Zan by a uh, Zan a permanently Xanified Lyoko Warrior. So... If a Lyoka warrior becomes permanently Xanified by falling into Digital Sea, they're dead. But they can actually come back summoned by Xana and attack you. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. And they can also summon the Black Manta in that case. So, I guess let's look at how exactly a sector becomes destroyed. And what you can do to fix that problem. Because I'm sure everyone wants to know how to do that. Because if you look at the help menu here. All they give you is this command list that just says. Build dot build code. Build code dot this this and that. And if you go to build right. And you start typing in stuff. So if you type in like build dot build codes. It gives you an error. And if you try build dot ice. Error. Build dot desert. Error. Etc. Um. Hold on one second. I'm going to cut this video off. And I'm going to go deal with my dog. So quick jump cut. You know, I'm not one for jump cuts, but sometimes I have to make a jump cut. Anyway, so you'll see we got a bunch of errors, right? Now, also using the builder, using any command in the builder takes a lot of energy. Um, so just keep that in mind. Now, I still don't fully know how to get energy back yet. I don't think there's a mechanic in play that does that. If anybody knows, just let me know. Um, but otherwise, I don't know. Um, some other stuff that was added, uh, they, they, uh, made the, um, the Sector 5 terminal have three options now, so there's an option for getting data for, like, DNA code, DNA fixes, and stuff like that, or not DNA fixes, I forget what it is, uh, it's data for something, uh, materialization codes for Aelita and for sectors and stuff like that, uh, if you do lose them, uh, basically that would happen if they, if one of the, the warriors gets stuck in the void, uh, or the uh, the frontier, as it's called. It doesn't mean they're. It doesn't mean they're dead. It just means they're stuck between sort of transferring before the vir uh, between the virtual world and the the real world. And if you go into the help menu, there's a whole section on how that happens and how to get rid of it, uh, right here. So, besides the commands, they also give you this, which is a very, 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 very limited description of what builds actually do. Um, but. I will show you how to actually deal with that. Now, the other thing that the other thing that that they say here is, if a tower activated by Xana is destroyed, i.e., Xana has a tower activated and it's destroyed by him destroying the sector, he the the time for his next attack is reduced by half. Which, uh, yeah, that can be an issue. So just just to keep that in mind. Um, and also, you can. Shorten the recompilation time of uh, over vehicles by using the fifth sector, but that's not working right now. Uh, over vehicles are broken, and I'll show that off as well. But I think everything else is about the same here. All the other rules are about the same. Uh, I think there's a section on that I wanted to look up earlier. Okay, here's definitive death. Uh, yeah, so this is okay. So the, these are the. These are the like explanations. We we know about these, right? Yeah, and here's the definitive Xanab types and stuff like that. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, delete. What sector should we delete? 
Let's delete the forest sector because we never... <laughs> Who likes the forest sector, right? Actually, I do, but they don't see it that often. All right, so let's do... Uh, Aelita. Oops. Trance. So we're going to send in Aelita by herself. And we're going to send her to the forest sector. Next to a white tower. Uh, and what this will do is this will summon, hopefully... This will summon the uh, Skiffozoa to come and take over Aelita. So I have the Skiffozoa chance up really high. And uh, her chance to destroy a sector is also really high. So what do we got coming at us right now? This actually does not look like the Skiffozoa. No, those are... Those are crabs, so that's going to suck. So unfortunately, the Skiffozoa doesn't always spawn. Um, so Aelita is going to have to uh, deal with these guys first. Hopefully she can and not die, but we'll see. Uh, it's not good. The crabs have a lot of health. Alright, I got one. Alright, good. So now we wait for the Skipazoa. Which actually, if I can... No. Okay, there's there's something still in the sector. The Skipazoa is actually really slow. Um, so he might take a while to get over here. Yep, there he is. So the Skiffozoa is all the way over there. You can see him right there. So he's going to take a while to get to us. So we're actually going to go in the tower. And we're just going to wait a little bit. Um, and let Aelita's life points regenerate. Hopefully. Anyway, while the Skiffozoa comes over. Now the Skiffozoa can also get into a battle. Uh, but for this case, we're not too, too worried about that. So, over vehicles is broken, but if we do uh, overboard.ilita, I think this should work. Yes, okay. So you can materialize just one of them at a time, but you can't materialize all of them. Otherwise, things break, so. Uh, overboard.dmatter. Oops. There we go. So if you do go to Sector 5 and get the recompilation codes, you can reduce this time uh, to 6 minutes instead of 12 minutes, I think. Okay, so she can get out of the tower. Here comes the Skipazoa, and the Skipazoa is going to attack Alita. Now, like I said, for other Lyoko warriors, what they will do is they will... Attempt to attack Aelita and throw her into the sea. They will attempt to just attack Lyoko Warriors and to virtualize them. Um, or they will jump into the digital sea if they're temporarily Xanified, making themselves permanently Xanified and thus ending in their death. Uh, what well, means they're dead at that point. Um, so, there's a, so, the game over conditions are very similar to Xanification as they are with death. If Aelita gets permanently Xanified, the game is over. If all the Lyoko Warriors get permanently Xanified, the game is over. You know, it's pretty simple. All right, so we do have some monsters coming over here, but they're actually not going to attack Aelita because she's going to be Xanified. So now, as you can see, her she's now unconscious for 50 seconds. Um, so, so and her, you can see her card changed. Now she's Xanified. And these monsters are actually not going to attack her, but now they're actually going to escort her. So she's Xanified, and she's unconscious. Um, so if a Xanified, if, if temporary Xanified Lyoko Warrior gets to virtualize, they actually go back to their normal state. Um, but what Aelita is going to do is as soon as she gets up, she's going to run into this tower and destroy the forest sector. And then we're going to go through the process of actually how you, re how do you rebuild a sector? Um, cause that's the main feature in this version is the addition of William, Xanification and sector destruction and sector rebuilding. So. Any day now. Oh, there we go. So now she's controlled by Xana. She runs right into the tower, goes up the tower, and she deletes the sector. So now what we have to do... So the monster's... Um, she's, she's actually unconscious again. They're actually attacking Aelita, but we actually want, want them to kill her. 
so we'll just let, we'll just let them do whatever. And she's devirtualized. Perfect. So now that now that she's devirtualized, you can kind of hear the creepy music going on. You can see the sector being deleted. It's really, really creepy and ominous. The animation for deleting the sector is really cool. Like, it's really, really neat. Now these monsters are, are you know, <laughs> they're, they're dead. It's gonna be kind of funny. They're just gonna sort of fall and, and blow up. Yeah, there they go. Oh man. Now the ice sector is gone, as you, or I'm sorry, the forest sector is gone. As you can see, it is no longer there. And if we type vmap.forest, watch what happens. Localization unavailable, because that sector does not exist. It's gone. So, we have this builder, and as I explained before, this virtual builder allows you to uh, rebuild sectors. So... How do you actually do that? Well, originally what we tried to do was we tried to go to Sector 5 and get materialization codes for the sectors. That's not how you do it. Um, you could fiddle around with this for a while, but you would have to think that there would be something useful that Jeremy would have stored away somewhere as a backup. Because he does. Uh, wait, what was it? There we go. So as you can see, there's two new files here in Jeremy's files. The first one is this unknown locked file, which we have no idea what it is right now. I think these are all the same, right? Yeah, these are all the same. And a new one called Lyoko Code. Well... This looks like garbage, but it's actually how you use the builder. So here, here's how it works. This code right here is Carthage. These codes here are all of the sectors. As you can see, it's flashing them in order. So this one is mountain. That one is desert. That one is forest. And that one is ice. Now with each highlight of the sectors, it also changes these three numbers here. These are the coordinates, the polar coordinates of the sector in relation to Carthage. And this is the access code for the way towers. Now it's starting to make sense a little bit. Let's go back to the help menu. In the build, so first thing we need is the build.build .build code. And you can see it says displayed in the Lyoko codes window, which is right here. So we want to rebuild the forest sector, which is the second one. So we're going to type build dot two. I know it's really small text. It's either a B or an eight. I'm going to say it's a B. Five, two, two, O. Oh. That's an error. So let's try build dot two, eight, F, five, two, O. Oh. There we go. So now it says forest two, eight, F, five, two, O confirmed. So now you can kind of see the parameters for, for us building the forest sector. The digital, everything set at default negative one. So if we try to just simulate this right now to test the parameters, you're going to see how everything's going to come up as wrong. That's not good. Everything's wrong. So we need to set up all the values correctly. Now, I think if you try to compile and run it with the values wrong, the whole thing freaks out and you might destroy everything. So I might as well not do that. So... First thing we need is the coordinates. So we're going to go to... Uh, so what's the code again? It is 28F520 dot by uh, bipolar CRD. And then we're going to do dot... Uh, all right, let's see what it is. I'm gonna we have to wait for it to highlight on it. 270.213. Uh, 
There we go. Now you can see 270, 213 for the coordinates. Now we have to set the way tower road. Um, so now that's going to be that binary value. So we're going to do, again, 28F520 dot way tower road uh, dot one one uh sorry one 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 zero i lost it one 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 zero wait for it to flash back up uh one zero 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 i think that was it okay and then we're gonna do okay so now what we have to do here is build code way tower access displayed in Ilita matter test window so now what we have to do is we have to go to, so we're going to type in uh 28f520 and then we're going to go to, oh wait actually we're going to do uh cd dot matter test i'm going to go to the materialization program and you can see right here you can see the way tower access codes so in the forest sector it's that tc whatever that was so we're going to type in 28F520 dot when it comes up TCGAAGCC and that was an unknown command oh because I did it wrong so 28, uh, 28F520 dot way tower access dot TCGAAGCC let's make, make sure I got it right TCG AAGCC. Yep. Okay, that should have set that. And there it is. Now we need to do the C level. Now the C level can be anything. Um, it, it's just as long as it, as long as it um, doesn't give you an error, it's fine. So 28F520 dot C level. We'll do 400. Uh, that didn't work. Okay, probably did something wrong. 28F 520.c level.400. There we go. So now we need to allocate a certain amount of energy to building this sector. So that's displayed in energy stat. So we go to energy stat, energy stat, and it came up over here. If we go to display values. You can see um, ice, desert, mountains are under sector surf. And Carthage is under sector main. So it takes 1,800 energy to accommodate a sector surf. So we're going to do uh, 28F520 dot allocate dot 1,800. And it failed, of course. Uh, 28F520 dot allocate dot 1,800. There we go. Now if we run build dot simulate, we should hopefully not get any errors. If we do, we have to fix something. We're good to go. So we're going to type build.compile, and it's going to take two hours to compile. So thankfully, we have a speed up feature. We can exit this annoying thing now. Uh, where's the clock at? Oh, it's, back, it's hidden behind there. So now we run the clock. Two hours. There we go. Now it's ready. And we type build.exe. And look at that. Here comes the forest sector coming from, coming back to life. Now, the good thing is, at least right now, when you build the sector, you also have access to the materialization codes again. Uh, so you don't need to worry about potentially losing uh, anyone in the frontier or anything like that. I don't know how materialization codes are exactly lost, but um, I'll show you that when, when we check the status. Let's go to the link window and you'll see in a second. Uh, we should have the forest sector, which, as you can see, is still building in here as well. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I think it's back. So if we type sector.forest, there you go. Forest sector is available, and materialization codes are also available. So we can go back to the forest sector. And everything should be peachy. And there it is. It's back. It's as simple as that. Now, if exactly the sea level actually changes anything, I don't know. 
Uh, one of the things you can do with Carthage, if Carthage is destroyed, is you can turn on, on or off the um, the maze, which is kind of cool. Um, but right now, that's all you can really do with the build command. It's pretty much just designed to rebuild Lyoko if anything goes wrong. It is quite a process, and there's very little information on it. I think it was kind of just designed to for players to kind of try to figure it out on their own. Um, so that's how you do it. That's the process of rebuilding uh, a sector and what it looks like if a sector is lost and rebuilt. So, um, I guess now we need to bring out William, shall we? As you can see, his card, it looks like that, because that's what it was in Season 4. So, William, um, oh, also what was actually added was there's a couple of new stat, uh, new, uh, battle, um, commands listed. I don't know if these are new, but basically there's a bunch of new, like, uh, actions that you can perform, um, which, like, can stun enemies or decrease their accuracy and stuff like that. Um, and every, every character has their own unique abilities, um, or own unique, like, sort of debuff or buff skills that they can use, as well as their other types of attacks. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if those are new, but it's something just interesting. So yeah, here's William, um, that's basically it. Uh, there is a Xanified William, uh, which I guess we can maybe show off, but I might show that off in another video, because this is maybe just show off the building and everything like that. So other than that, other than the changes I described, um, there isn't a, there's just, you know, a whole bunch of bug fixes and stuff. Um, a couple of other just like life, uh, quality of life fixes you can look at in the uh, change log if you want. So if these are actually guys we can fight, which they are, uh, we're going to go fight the Mantas. And I'll show you what I mean. So like, oh wow, they, they went first, okay. So you can see down here you have blindness, ultimate combo, and sacrifice. Let me shockwave these guys. Now William is probably going to die because Manta's, you know, they took the first turn and uh, minimal damage is on and this reduces their attack power. Yeah, yeah, he's dead, but who cares? William, you suck at your job. Anyway, yeah. So uh, that's that. If uh, you know, hopefully that clears up how to rebuild sectors or anything like that. And um, I'll probably be playing around with this a little bit more. Uh, I will release a video sometime in the future showing off Xanified William, maybe, and his sort of AI and stuff like that. Uh, but for now, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, check out the link for a download of this game. Uh, please support it. It's awesome. Everything like that. So, yeah. Much more coming soon.